So Riot Games announced huge changes for the 2023 season of League of Legends and as a player of over a decade, I've seen a lot of those changes. But Riot Games is doing very well with their other projects like Valorant or Arcane, so I imagine there's still a lot of new players who don't really know what League of Legends is, they're coming in from those other games. Now the thing is, the League of Legends tutorial has been notoriously trash for the longest time even after the overhaul, so me, as an experienced player, I'm gonna play it in 2022 and I'm gonna show it to you how well prepared you will be after you play only the tutorial, no other third party information and the results are not really good. <laughs> the first time we log into League, we have to promise that we always do our best and that we always respect our teammates and I'm sure every League player does that, right? <laughs> And after that we have to decide on an identity, but life doesn't work that way and sometimes you have to settle for seconds. And finally we load into the first tutorial where we get taught a little bit about champions, a little bit about the abilities, walking around, basic attack and stuff like that. I just goofed around with all these champions for a while until I realized I have to destroy the turret. It doesn't say anything that I have to do that, but you know, I'm smart so I, I got that. And by now, like, the tutorial is a little bit bare bones, you know? Like, the minions don't deal damage, the turrets don't deal as much damage as they should, and you're not even really taught how to use your abilities that you can even read them or anything, but they tell you to not run into the turrets. Which is a good thing, right? You shouldn't run into the towers, but the thing is, the towers don't deal any damage, so even if you run in there and the game tells you, oh, this does deal a lot of damage it really doesn't you think like okay they deal a little bit of damage but you can fight under these guys which in the real gameplay it doesn't work like that and my favorite thing is the ai tells you every single time you get turret aggro to back the fuck off right and then this happens like the bots that are literally there to help you learn the game run into the turret where the fucking ai tells you don't do this over and over again every single time you do it and they have two of my four teammates run into the turret almost well it simulates the real gameplay i guess and after that we're just destroying the nexus and nothing really happened and we're sent off to the second tutorial already but there's one thing before that you have to unlock one of the champions you just tried out i chose habibi Yi because i thought he would get me through the tutorial so quickest but here's the thing, Yi costs 1 12th of the price of Darius and Brand. So if you're not choosing them, you're losing a lot of your currency that is already kind of grindy to get. And you don't get those champions later on. This is basically a noob trap. But now we're ready for the second tutorial, the power up tutorial. Finally, we can learn a little bit about how to get our champion strong and how that works throughout the game, right? It's false. We're sent to the Summoner's Rift in a 5 vs 5 setting where Soraka goes to the mid lane for some reason. We're told to level up an ability and to gain experience to level up the other abilities as well. And by reaching level 3, there's nothing new in terms of tutorials coming up and you just have to push through to the Nexus to <laughs> finish it and there's nothing else. And all this tutorial taught you was how to level your abilities, nothing more. And now for the finale, shopping for gear, itemization, ooh, all that juicy stuff. Now we get into it, right? It never happened. We're sent to the rift again where we have to kill 12 minions for the first quest. And this is made harder by the fact that Ash is also sent down mid lane and is just mindlessly attacking the minions, shoving the wave into the turret all the time. But you know, it's doable. And after that you have to collect 3600 gold by killing minions and enemies. They make Alistair run it down and after that you just have to kill the turrets, buy items. They don't even tell you what to buy really, they just tell you buy something and destroy the Nexus and that's already it for the last tutorial. I'm gonna be known across the right Games headquarters as MatoDB, that's the best for dreckiger Bastard Hurensohn because I don't have a lot of good things to say about this tutorial. The tutorial is lacking from beginning to end. Like, the basic site, even the basic informations are like so lacking and there is no advanced site whatsoever. The reason I made this video to begin with is because for the 2023 season, Riot Games wants to improve in-game communication and there's a command that's called freezing the wave. Now I imagine just some poor bastard is like playing brand and he's like, man, I can only sh set shit on fire. I can't freeze a wave. Maybe I should pick Ash instead. 
Like terms like freezing the wave are not mentioned anywhere in the game. You have to go to third party sources to get knowledge about those. Like the tutorial gameplay is like so exaggerated from the normal game in a very, very bad way. They never explain the minions that they can be, for example, like quite dangerous in the early game or they tell you that the turrets are dangerous, but they are so much more dangerous than the normal gameplay. I think like in the tutorial, you can tank them twice as much on level one in normal gameplay, you die in three shots, two and a half shots or whatever. And it's such a weird thing that a tutorial like this is still in place for such a big game because there's so many more things, advanced concepts, not even stuff like champion types or itemization are discussed at all in those tutorials. And I still can't get over the fact that you can get scammed in your very first moments when you choose Yi over Brand and Darius in terms of like raw blue essence because it's so hard to get by as a beginner player. So why not give the players all those basic champions to begin with? Like, games like League of Legends are so beginner unfriendly and those tutorials are not helping at all. If I was a new player, I probably wouldn't touch this game in 2022, so that's all I have to say about this.